praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, Joanne, uh, the Lord has spoken with me. I want the listeners to know that the Lord has spoken with me. And uh, this night, this past night, the Lord spoke to me in a very profound way about the grand mega revival meeting that's coming up to Nakuru. And in this conversation, the Lord once more showed me the very, very mega healing that will take place in Nakuru. Again, this past night, the Lord did visit with me in a very tremendous way and very profound way. And among other things, the Lord showed me the historic healing, the mega healing that will take place in Nakuru. And uh, I saw a tremendous lot of historic, powerful healings. The healings and the miracles of our time take place in that ground and the field of the meeting. And it was so stunning, though. It was almost chaotic because cripples were walking from every direction and wheelchairs abandoned, some lifting them up, walking towards the altar of the Lord, walking for the first time. Even crippled babies, I see a lot of them walking. And uh, many blind eyes opening from all sides of the stadium. Don't, those born blind who have indeed been in the world of darkness, uh, the Lord shows them to me now healed and a very huge jubilation begins to take place at Nakuru in the ground of the meeting, at the meeting of the Lord. After that, I see the lame and the paralytic with all their crutches and their, their, their mattresses, stretchers, some were brought on stretchers and mattresses, could not walk, finally lifting up the mattresses and walking step by step as jubilation consumes the stadium. And then uh, even I have seen the deaf and the dumb healed, the deaf hearing in largest numbers. I think they come from the schools of the deaf. So the Lord is going to heal them in batches, in batches, different groups of the deaf and the dumb. And then the Lord is also going to heal blood conditions, cancers, leukemias, diabetes, HIV, AIDS. He's going to delete HIV, AIDS, and diabetes from people's blood. He's going to restore the insulin systems. The Lord is going to heal internal organs also. I see internal organs, heart conditions, serious heart conditions, the liver, the colon, the spleen, the intestines, the stomach, the throat, and then psychotic conditions too. People who have organic conditions of psychosis mentally ill, psychiatric cases, depressed people are going to be essentially set free in this upcoming visitation in Nakuru. And then tumors, I see a lot of tumors that will dissolve in the brain, in the body parts. Some of them dissolve in such a way that they become wet on the cloth. They come out, you know, they burst out. And bleeding diseases will stop. The Lord is bringing his unparalleled and equal the healing to this land again. He is coming to visit the church because such are the times we live in, the times at which the Lord is now preparing a glorious bride, a bride that is familiar with his power, his might, a bride that is familiar with the enormity of our God, the God of Israel, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Hossein, our Mecca, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. And I see also the Lord is going to do a miracle of creation. There is this healing that I keep seeing, which is uh, uh, going to take place on the grass, the legs. I think both legs were crippled. This young boy, a young man, young boy, the legs were crippled and, and, and kind of twisted legs, soft and twisted. And then as the Lord walks me towards this, this precious young man, then the legs are healed and they, they are healed right there, alive. And uh, they become strong. The f I see the left leg, which was facing backwards, turning to face forward, and the other leg. So very big things are going to happen. It seems that in Nakuru, we are essentially 
it seems to me that in Nakuru we are going to celebrate the blood of Jesus. We are going to celebrate the good works of the Lord in Nakuru. It looks to me that this is going to be a major celebration of the visitation of the cloud of God that is right now tabernacled and throbbing into the church. And this is yet another moment when the Lord is going to, to, to make gains, to highlight the gains that his presence in the church at this hour uh, make, is making. And we are to celebrate, it looks like we are going to celebrate the goodness of the work of the cross, the blood of Jesus in Nakuru. So the Lord is going to heal all forms and kinds of diseases from many countries, not just Kenya. So all those who are coming, they are coming now, and each will have the capacity to take home the healing miracle of the Lord, to get to encounter their God on a personal basis, even families. Many families will be removed from shame, removed from, uh, from, from fear, from anxiety, from oppression, the suffering they've gone through with children that are crippled, blind, mentally ill, children bleeding diseases, uh, and also wounds. I see a lot of wounds that are going to be healed. There are going to be a lot of wounds that will dry up instant, including spinal cord injuries that will be healed. I see all the way the spine up. And then the lower back, people with broken lower backs are going to be healed, broken mid back and upper back, the hip the broken knees, the knees that are totally destroyed, where the kneecap is totally destroyed, those doing aspiration and cleaning, infected knees, all kinds of knees are going to be healed, the broken ankles and toes. And then the Lord is going to extend columns, those short hands, he will stretch them, and those legs that are short also will be stretched. Many big things will happen, even among the lame, when their legs will be stretched, those short legs will finally be stretched. Those feet that were not able to touch down will be pulled by the Lord so they will step down for the first time with strength. So there's going to be a myriad and a whole spectrum of the healings of the Lord that the Lord has spoken with me about this past night, some of which I've not mentioned here. But he's going to heal his people. Over this year, if I remember very well from the time we had the meeting in Eldred until now, my phone has been totally jammed and clogged with a lot of prayer requests of sick people. People who are sick and looking for prayer. And I realized that the Lord is using this to speak to me that, look, my people are suffering. So the Lord is coming to remove the suffering from his people, to heal his people and set them free from suffering. In that way that we may prepare a holy way a glorious way, a righteous way in our hearts for the coming of the Messiah. That now this religion of the cross may stand out, stuck high from all the other religions, and that it may be known world over, even in heaven, that only Jehovah is God. Those who have ears, may we prepare for the coming of the Lord. Shalom.